Hey Fedhead, Cigar Surgeon here with another cigar video review. Today we're reviewing the Tabacaro. Now, if you've seen our site, of course you know we've already done a review of the Tabacaro, but this is a, speci a special Vitola. This is a Salomon. And this uh, Tabacaro is made by Hamlet Paradis, who's a very good friend of mine from Cuba. Came over from Cuba, is now working for Rocky Patel. And if you know anything about Hamlet, you know the Salomon, that's his Vitola. That's his brand. It's kind of his signature size and I'd be remiss to not smoke this and review this. This was sent to me by Hamlet. Uh, very much appreciate him sending me some samples here. It was a great gift and I very much appreciate it. So a little bit about the cigar. The Salomon, it's a monster. It's seven and a half inches long by 58 ring gauge. Uh, for that size, pretty reasonable price. MSRP on that is 980. They come in boxes of 10. It's got the Mexican San Andreas Maduro wrapper on it, uh, Brazilian and Mexican binder, and then uh, filler is uh, Nicaraguan. If you haven't checked out our interview with uh, Hamlet at the IPCBR 2015 in New Orleans, you should check that out. That'll be on our written review at CigarFederation.com. So without further review, because this is going to be a long smoking experience, you can see this is, this is a very, very big cigar. It's probably going to take me about three hours and a bit to smoke this bad boy. So we'll get cracking. Now, one of the things that might crop up when you're smoking a Perfecto style cigar and a, specifically a Salmon is which end do I light? Well, they make it pretty easy here because you can see, although the, the um, foot on this is quite small, it doesn't have a cap on it. So it's, it's very open. You know which end to light. It's got that Torpedo Perfecto uh, cap on it. And really what you're looking for is, is where the uh, wrapper meets the cap and you don't want to cut above that otherwise your wrapper is going to unravel. It's not going to take much of a cut. Now I'm going to use a guillotine because the cap on that is so small I don't want to use a V-cut. Um, I could use a V-cut but I'm not going to use a V-cut. I'm going to use a guillotine. So before I do that of course I'm going to get to uh, nosing. So talk a little bit about the nose here. A little bit of barnyard. Actually quite a bit of barnyard. Hay. Maybe some uh, underlying spices and earth, leather. Hard to pick up anything in the foot here. Very small. It's motorcycle season, what can I say? So I'm gonna, I'm gonna get cracking here because this is gonna be a long smoking experience and I'm excited to, to get going. So um, because the foot here is so small, you kind of do have to be a little careful. It, it, it is sometimes a little tricky to light a Salomon. So I'm gonna try with my method. The method I, that I use, I shouldn't call it my method because it's not my method. The method that I use, I'm going to try that and I may have to light after I cut here because it might not be enough to get this started. Apologies for the wind today. It's a beautiful warm day, but as such we've got some wind. So I'm just going to make a small cut here. Very small cut, you can see. And she's already lit. Now the draw on this is incredibly tight, but that's probably a good thing. I don't want a loose draw on a Salomon. If I have a loose draw on a Salomon, I'm gonna be tempted to just power through this. So lots of resistance, but when I draw, I'm getting lots of smoke. It's not like I'm drawing very hard and I'm not getting any smoke. So even though there's the draw here is quite tight, I'm totally, totally okay with that. So the retro hail here, beautiful, elegant spices, very rich, a little bit of a leather post draw, getting some sweetness with underlying spices on the regular draw. It's a big cigar. There's a lot of lot of uh, cigar here to go. I'll be checking in to talk about different flavors as I go. Sitting at about 15 minute mark here, past the, uh, what I like to call the hump, Campbell's hump of the Salomon here. So it's, you can see burning really nicely. Uh, even with that little initial light, it, I mean, it doesn't take much to get your cigar going. And as long as you're treating it right and rotating the cigar, you know, most of the time your burn is gonna be just right. So talking a little bit about the notes here as we're at the, about the 15 minute mark. There's still some spiciness there, but it's it's very it's very light. In fact, I'd say this quite a bit lighter than the Robusto. Enjoyable for sure, balanced, um, and I think that's a good thing because if it was as spicy as the Robusto, this might be too spicy in a, in a Vitola this large. So knowing that, that uh, Hamlet definitely blends for a Salomon, I'm looking forward to see how this cigar progresses. I'm about 20 minutes into the first third here and there is already a profile change. It's starting to get quite sweet. It's The spices are really falling to the background here, and I'm just getting this really nice sweetness that lingers in the mouth, but it doesn't linger post-draw, so I'm not getting a ton of a sweetness in my mouth post-draw. I just you get this nice little elegant sweetness, hits you, and then kind of goes away. 
I am still getting some leather post draw, but it's very, very light and uh, really gets cut away as soon as I do another draw and uh, get that sweetness. Coming up on the one hour mark, I actually made another cut. I was a little too conservative on the original guillotine cut, so uh, you, you really probably can't tell because it took out probably maybe a quarter inch off and the uh, draw opened right up because um, I was encountering a little bit of burn issue, maybe an inch and a half into the cigar. Now that I've done that, profile has changed pretty substantially actually. So I'm getting a lot more spices now, a lot more richness, it's stepping up in intensity for sure. Leisurely coming up to the, uh, slowly up to the two hour mark here. I'm sitting about an hour and 45 minutes at the, really the halfway point here. Profile is lost a lot of the sweetness and a lot of the spices. It's more of a nutty character now with the chasing hay. Still quite good. It's nice. It's not overpowering. I mean, the risk with a larger cigar is, you know, you worry that it's going to be a bad cigar experience for three and a half hours or it's going to be overpowering for three and a half hours. This is very, very balanced. I'm enjoying this very much. Just what I would expect out of, out of Hamlet's blending characteristic, uh, a cigar that kind of takes you on a journey. It's not overpowering. It's, it's a good experience. Um, so I'll check back in when I get... Uh, partly into the, the, you know, really what I'd describe as the middle third here. So the retro hell definitely has more bite to it. Um, still getting uh, some, some pepper and spices out of the retro hell. A lot more bite to it than the regular draw. In fact, the spices are almost non-detectable in the regular draw, so you really have to retro to pick that up at this point. Passing the two hour mark and uh, I'm about halfway through the middle third here. So the flavor profile has adjusted again. Um, get the sweetness that was kind of in the end of the first third and middle of the first third come back really to supplant take over from the hay. Again, really good. Still getting the spices in the retro hail, but not getting any spices in the regular draw. About two hours, 15 minutes in and really wrapping up the middle third here. There's a lot of chocolatey notes that's coming through kind of at the end of the draw quite quite tasty i mean it's great to have a cigar that's this long this big and just continues to evolve throughout the entire smoke experience like i said the worst thing you want is a big cigar that doesn't go under, undergo an evolution through the smoking experience because i mean with a three three hour plus smoking experience if, if it if it doesn't transition that can be pretty boring at least for me so this is uh very good. Rapidly approaching the three hour mark. Definitely, I don't say, it, I wouldn't say I'm at the midpoint of the final third here, but well into the final third. The chocolate notes have kind of fallen off. There's a leather that's really overtaking the profile, pretty much totally taking over the profile on the regular draw. Still a really nice, slightly spicy, but sweet retro hail to it, which is really good. I mean, you're getting most of the flavors here out of the retro hail. Still quite enjoyable, even after, you know, three hours plus smoking. So um, wrapping up the review of the Tabacaro Salomon, pretty enjoyable smoke. It is a, a long smoke. I mean, I'm sitting at just about three hours and 20 minutes here. So long smoking experience, but a very enjoyable smoking experience. I think this is probably gonna come in at a high five pack for me. The profile didn't undergo a ton of changes, but it's a very enjoyable smoke. And really when you're smoking a cigar this long, that's kind of what you're looking for. You're looking for a cigar that's not gonna be boring for the entire experience and it was anything but. So check out the written review at cigarfederation.com. If you enjoyed the video, if you enjoyed the podcast, give us a thumbs up, an upvote, whatever, up arrow, tune in and uh, make sure to subscribe. Uh, we'll be back next week with another Cigar Federation video review. Thanks for checking this one out.